Hey, hey. Hey, hey. How's it going? It work. Hello, everyone. I am Lauren from Mary U in Hawaii. And today we have Brutus Lebens, one of our officiants from Mary in Hawaii. Aloha and welcome. Oh, aloha. Aloha. Um, so today's topic, uh, we're going to be discussing how to incorporate lay into your ceremony. And um, this is something that a lot of couples like to incorporate because um, while they're here in the islands, um, they want to, you know, experience a little bit of culture and um, put that into the ceremony. And I think it's probably one of our most requested um, items. So maybe if you can explain that a little bit and how that can be, um, you know, seamlessly put into the ceremony and some background on that. Yeah, sure. Uh, so aloha kako. Again, my name is Brutus LeBenz. Um, and uh, well, hula practitioner. So we've been, uh, and I think, uh, especially in Hawaii, uh, wearing a lei uh, for ceremonies has, or even being gifted a lei um, for birthdays or for different types of celebrations. Um, it's always, uh, it's very commonplace and something that was always, that's always done here. Um, and so for our visiting guests too, I, I know some people, they notice um, folks are getting, uh, receiving lays when they uh, arrive at the airport or at the hotel uh, places that they're staying or if they have family or friends here, they're gifted a lay and, and truly, uh, you know, kind of what it is and to me what it boils down to and what I share with couples who want to um, share lay with each other is um, it's an expression of, of your aloha. Yeah, it's an expression of, of your affection, of your, your thoughts, um, and, and it, uh, it is to honor this connection that you have with someone. And so, of course, for couples, it's, it's, it's great to honor one another with that lay. Um, that's, that's obviously one of the, um, one of the uh, most readily done things uh, for our uh, guests traveling here to get married is to simply just exchange a lay with one another. Uh, another way to incorporate lay into the ceremony, especially for uh, our local weddings, our local couples, because often they're already adorned with lei. They don't often do it in the ceremony itself, but they, they come adorned with the lei because it's part of the ensemble. Uh, but what they want to do is take a moment in the ceremony to honor people in their lives. So, um, so for example, we'll, we'll ask the parents to stand and we'll, we'll, we'll honor them with a lei or we'll ask the grandparents as well, or if there's any children there or just very special folks that that they want to acknowledge with their aloha, um, we take a moment in the beginning of the ceremony to ask them to rise and, and, and receive the gift of a lay from, from the couple, you know, on behalf of the couple. And so, uh, but Lauren, the one thing I did want to share with everyone too is, uh, you know, it's, it's easy for us today to just drive to the store and purchase whatever lay that have been beautifully strung together by um, our various lay makers around the islands. And, um, they're beautiful, fragrant, um, they evoke emotions. But if we think about things in a traditional context and what I love to share with couples when they, when they talk about being lay, what's up, Kaika? Sorry, I see my friend joining in. <laughs> um, when we wanna, uh, in, in traditional times, we think about it in that context, when we have to uh, make a lay, there was a lot that went into it, a lot of yourself, a lot of the teachings from your, um, your parents, your grandparents, your, your other teachers um, to learn, learn how to harvest uh, whatever it is that you're going to be creating the lei with um, so that you don't harm the plant, how to weave it in together to make a lei. Um, and then you need to go and find that person and, and present that lei that you wanted to um, give to. And in Hawaiian thought, we, um, every step along the way, the idea was you're putting your, your best of your intentions, um, your positivity, all that good juju and good mana into what you're doing. And so I think when we give a lay or the next time you ever receive a lay, you know, 
um, think about those things and somebody went through the trouble whether it was to make one and create one or whether it was to just go and buy one it is still the intention of aloha that they put into the journey of that lay until they landed around around your body and around your neck and shoulders so um yeah that's just all i really wanted to share and so so there's some great ways um to just honor each other with lay to honor parents um Sometimes, right, our, um, our, our, our parents and our grandparents are no longer with us, but they had a big impact on the couple or on, you know, on the bride or the groom. And so often there'll be a seat reserved for them. And I've, I've had multiple occasions where they honor that seat with a lay. Uh, that's where grandpa would have been. Or this is where our grandma's photo is sitting on top of the chair too. So that's another really simple and really beautiful, easy way to just incorporate incorporate the lay into your ceremony to really honor people in your life. Very nice and so beautifully said. Um, I love how you you ex kind of explain the backstory um, about all of that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it, everybody. Um, lay exchange and how you can incorporate that into your ceremony. And until next time, thank you so much, Brutus. Yep. Thank you, Lauren. Aloha, everybody. Malama Pono. Take care. Aloha.